Hello, this is Danny at Danny Designs Studio. Today is the second in our 12 Days of Christmas series where every Tuesday until the 15th of December, I'm going to give you some hints and tips of how to jazz up your homemade gifts or bought Christmas gifts for that matter. And today we're going to make this little wine bottle sleeve. So this idea has come from many demonstrators down the years. I'm not sure who had the original idea, but I've just tweaked it a little bit to make it my own. And this is a great present uh, to have set aside for someone you may be visiting over the Christmas period, or it's just a lovely gift to receive, isn't it? And that person receiving it, then recycle it if they want to. This is a standard wine bottle. Um, and they all come in different shapes and sizes, but this is just a standard and um, you'll be having a look at the next one I make. So let's, let's get started on this one. I'm going to be using the lovely papers from the Wonder of the Spe Season Speciality Design Series paper. And at first my eye was not drawn to this paper. In the catalogue but actually when I look at it it's absolutely stunning um, and I think it's perfect for something a project like this it's got some lovely uh, little stories it's even got recipes on it very nice so um, I am using it you can use your trimmer but I'm going to use and show you how to use this uh, simply scored tool it's called um, simply scoring tool so it's um, got a little scorer that uh, lives in this little section down here and then um, it's got this little scoring uh, grooves in it which really helps if you're going to have any sort of 3d projects um, and other items that need a lot of scoring this is something to invest in because I use it a lot so we start off with a piece of um, designer series paper 12 by 12 and you've got a direction to this pattern so we obviously want the bottle to be in the direction of the pattern so if you turn it on its side so that the pattern is horizontal you're scoring at one and a half and ten and a half and then you're turning 90 degrees and then you are scoring so that the pattern is now vertical scoring at one and three quarters three and a half five and a quarter which is there seven seven and three quarters sorry not seven and three quarters eight and three quarters and then ten and a half so and also the next thing is to notch just make a little um, notch at the top of these. So notch at one, two and five eighths. So that's four, five, four and three eighths. So that's one, two, three, six and one eighth, which is there. Seven and seven eighths, which is there. That's sorry, that is, yep, yeah, no, that is right. Um, and ten, nine, and five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So you're then going to lightly burnish this. Just going to get my scoring tool so remember it's paper so we need to just lightly burnish because otherwise we don't want to 
go all the way through. Sometimes you could easily tear paper like this. So you could almost just do it with your hands lightly. There we go. And then this is the base. this is your top part so you have got you've got all these little vertical lines going upwards and you're going to cut very difficult for you to see with this pattern you're going to cut up to the horizontal line Now this bit here is the bit that you're going to stick. So you're going to notch that in and cut up there and then notch that. So that panel is going to be stuck down. Then you've got all these little notches here. So we're going to do a diagonal cut. This is the top of your sleeve and then if you find the diagonal, the little notch there, diagonally cut across to your horizontal line. So you get a little sort of pattern at the top. then going to cut in um, sorry make a hole into the top of these little triangular bits So then I am going to just glue this down, this panel down, and this I'm going to use the Stamp and Seal Plus. So it's very strong and it's really good for 3D projects. This is. So I'm going to pop that there, and then. So that is going to be my back because that's the join and I can't help the fact that it's, it's not matching up. So then I'm going to glue this down. So I need some wet glue. And uh, I'm going to glue this. in a sort of pattern like this.
and then I'm going to just going to get my silicone mat because I don't want there's a bit of glue on the bottom there so I don't want to get it stuck I'm going to pop my wine bottle in I'm going to sort of have a look where is the the back of it which is there so that's going to be my front and then it's going to go in like that and then just to strengthen the bottom I've got a little disc here and I'm going to attach that to the bottom now that's been taken out of the the layering circles frame lips dies so and that's the largest circle on there and I'm just going to pop that on the bottom so it just gives it a nicer sort of finish and then this is the the ribbon I'm going to use for the top and um, it's a lovely ribbon what's it called metallic mesh ribbon so if you give it a little snip so it's pointed and then you're just going to feed it through here unravel quite a bit <clears throat> and then it's just going to go in and out these little bits Right, so then give yourself plenty of <coughs> plenty of ribbon to play with and you're going to do a little bow and you can do it as big or flouncy as you like so this because that's your main decoration really So that's that bit and then I am using for my little sentiment I'm going to be using the layering oval framelits dies and I am using a little scalloped edge the largest and and that one the plain edge as well so I've already cut that out <clears throat> and I've done it slightly differently so on the first one I did leaves and this one I am doing the poncettias so this poncettia is is just lovely these <clears throat> if you look at them the, you could just emboss a poncetti if you get yourself um, a bit of red and this is real red cardstock so for example you pop that onto your this is not going to fit but you get the idea um, and you've got the middle bit you've got to find the middle bit that goes in there and if you have a look at that it's amazing the the actual leaves it embosses the leaves for you and there's only one way that you can fit the inside of the leaf or the flower whatever you want to call it so you've just got to find out where it would go there we go so then you emboss that and that's what I've already done And I've done this in a silver and then it whisper white 
and I've done a few little extra bits so I'm just going to stick it all together so I'm going to put my sentiment on with cherry cobbler not the real red because I think the real red it's nice to have something slightly darker so I'm going to choose the sentiment uh, warm wishes warm wishes from your home from our home to yours I'm going to get a block and then put it to one side with the cherry cobbler and then I'm sticking that on the top So, and then with these, um, I just want to get a little bit of dimension. So I'm just going to fold these leaves. Just to get away from it being so flat and then open up this a little bit more. And then basically do the same with the others and then again open it up a bit more last one so with this I am going to stick that on first it's going to go there and I'm going to put this so that it hangs out this is where I get glue everywhere so then obviously your bigger one first and then just place it in the middle and I'm going to do glue dots with the others so I'm going to put a couple of glue dots in the middle there just to hold that and then offset it and again with this one to sort of see that sentiment a bit so, and then just to finish it off are these bit special beaded pearls these are amazing beautiful I don't know whether you can see that but they're three little pearls with a few little silver bits in the middle they're flat which is really good to put the glue on and then that gives it an extra special touch for the middle. Whoops! <laughs> My hands are all sticky. So, there we go. And then you're going to put your glue just in the middle because obviously these have got panels, haven't they? And um, you don't want to stick it anywhere else it's going to go just into the middle of that panel so I'm going to stick it there and there we go <clears throat> you've got another lovely lovely sleeve for wine bottles jazz up any nice wine bottle I think they look really lovely thank you very much for joining me 
Until next time, happy stamping crafters! If you like this video, please click the like button below and please subscribe and select the bell icon to all to receive notifications of when I upload. Thank you.